Natura 2000 is a network of nature protection areas in the territory of the European Union. It is made up of special areas of conservation and special protection areas designated under the Habitats Directive and the Birds Directive, respectively. The network includes both terrestrial and marine protected areas. In May 1992, the governments of the European communities adopted legislation designed to protect the most seriously threatened habitats and species across Europe. The Habitats Directive complements the Birds Directive adopted earlier in 1979 and together they make up the Nature A 2000 network of protected areas. The Birds Directive requires the establishment of special protection areas for birds. The Habitats Directive similarly requires sites of community importance which upon the agreement of the European Commission become special areas of conservation to be designated for species other than birds. And for habitat types. Together, Special protection areas and special areas of conservation form the Nature A 2000 network of protected areas. Furthermore, the Nature A 2000 network is the EU contribution to the Emerald Network of Areas of Special Conservation Interests set up under the Bern Convention on the Conservation of European Wildlife and Natural Habitats. Nature A 2000 is also a key contribution to the program of work of protected areas of the Convention on Biological Diversity. As prerequisite for becoming EU member, Accession states have to submit proposals for Nature A 2000 sites meeting the same criteria as EU member states. Some new member states have large areas which qualify to be protected under the directives and implementation has not always been simple. The Nature A 2000 sites are selected by member states and the European Commission following strictly scientific criteria according to the two directives mentioned above. The special protection areas are designated directly by each EU member state, while the special areas of conservation follow a more elaborate process, each EU member state must compile a list of the best wildlife areas containing the habitats and species listed in the Habitats Directive. This list must then be submitted to the European Commission. After which an evaluation and selection process on European level will take place in order to become a Nature A 2000 site. The Habitats Directive divides the EU territory into nine biogeographic regions, each with its own ecological coherence. Nature A 2000 sites are selected according to the conditions in each biogeographical region, thus selected sites represent species and habitat types under similar natural conditions across a suite of countries. Each Nature A 2000 site has a unique identification form called a standard data form. This form is used as a legal reference when assessing the management of the species and habitats through the concept of favorable conservation status. The Nature A 2000 viewer is a tool to explore the network and gives access to every standard data form. Nature A 2000 protects 27,312 sites with terrestrial area 787,606 square kilometers and marine area 360,350 square kilometers in 2017 and is considered almost complete in the EU terrestrial environment. The process of designation has not always been smooth as the infringement procedures against member states show. While designation of sites may be near complete, the management and enforcement of protection on sites is less advanced and many sites lack management plans. Nature A 2000 faced criticism from developers, farmers and politicians who fear that the conservation of habitats and species places a break on development. 251,564 square kilometers had been designated as Nature A 2000 in the marine environment in 2013. The network in marine areas is not considered complete and acknowledged by the Commission as a key challenge for EU biodiversity policy in the coming years. Nature A 2000 sites can vary considerably in character. They are not strictly protected in terms of how they are allowed to be used by people. Many sites are farmed, forested and some are even in urban areas. Other areas are much wilder. The European Commission developed guidelines on the relation between Nature A 2000 and wild areas which are thought to make up around 13% of the network. This was in response to a report by members of the European Parliament in 2009 which called for further protection of Europe's wilderness. Play Media A general video on Nature A 2000 estuaries in Wales, 2015 The Nature A 2000 network is not well known among European Union citizens, only 11% of citizens knew what it was in 2013. As part of the EU biodiversity strategy, the European Commission committed to raise awareness about the network and biodiversity in general with the public. In general, Natura 2000 sites are seen like an interdiction for developing for most of the citizens. Since appeared in some area, the citizens saw only limitations and interdictions without any local advantages for the specific area. 
The confusion is even greater since in the designation process as a Nature of 2000 site, the local communities were not involved. The documentations for different areas were done by different NGO not belonging to specific areas without outknowing the areas, with limited studies and ignoring the local community's interests. Due to this lack of awareness, most citizens do not know the consequence of belonging to a Nature A2000 site. In order to raise awareness about the Nature A2000 network, 21st of May has been designated Nature A2000 Day. This precedes International Day for Biological Diversity on 22nd of May. The initiative came from SEO slash BirdLife who sought and received funding from the EU Life Plus program in order to improve the knowledge of this network. In 2013, the first Nature A2000 Day took place with the aim to raise awareness of citizens about the importance of Nature A2000 network in their lives. Since then, every May 21st and the weeks before, awareness actions take place all over Europe. For example, in 2014, School children and politicians across the EU were encouraged to make a butterfly gesture and post photos on social media to raise awareness. The Nature A2000 Award was launched by the European Commission in 2013, with the first prizes awarded on Nature A2000 Day in 2014. The annual award aims to raise awareness about the Nature A2000 network, showcase excellence and encourage networking between people working on Nature A2000 sites. It awards prizes to those working on the management of or to raise awareness about nature at 2005 award categories, conservation, socioeconomic benefits, communication, reconciling interests and perceptions, cross-border cooperation and networking. In its first year, winners were selected from Bulgaria, Romania, Czech Republic, Belgium and Spain. The nature at 2000 legislation, notably with its habitats test, dates back to the days climate change was not an issue and the concept of ecosystem services had not been well developed. Hence, in international law literature Kissinger's raised the question the habitat's assessment was originally not designed for striking a balance of all relevant ecosystem services or to involve climate change into the assessment. Although well protecting nature conservation objectives, a rethinking of the habitat's assessment might be necessary in the light of a new climate law as part of E. G. The European Green Deal. In European law literature Borgström and Kissinkas have discussed some possible future incompatibilities of the Nature of 2000 Habitats test with novel EU green infrastructure policies. In the late 2010s the Habitats assessment was at the basis of the so-called nitrogen crisis in the Netherlands as the EU court ruled on agriculture nearby Nature of 2000 sites. In some other member states, such as Bulgaria, there was criticism a project had not been well communicated in advance. This led to construction in the Kaliakra zone of Bulgaria, including wind turbines and a golf course. Landowners have then been told they may not use their land in certain ways, otherwise non-compliance procedures would be used against Bulgaria. This led to protests by the landowners. Thanks for watching.